What's up everybody? Merry Christmas. It's already over, but I hope you had a good Christmas and already a good new year. And welcome to another studio session with me, Nastination. And today I want to show you how to get really creative with your own recorded samples. So, or sounds, just your sounds that you recorded. So I have a whole sample pack here that I recorded random sounds like a pan, like this. All right, ticking clock. All kinds of things. Well, what I did, I, um, I dragged in some uh, samples for my sample pack. That sounds like this. It's just a kick and a, and a percussion loop, but I want the drums to be more groovy. So to get more percussion in, I dragged in a ticking clock that I recorded with my uh, test cam, with, my, um, with this one. Field recorder is awesome. Um, and the ticking clock sounds like this. And if you put it together, so I like the first bit, I like this. All right, so that's already one extra percussion sound. And then I'm gonna go over to pants. All right, I'm gonna work with the pan, all right. Drag it over to a new audio channel and see what that sounds like. All right, so I like the first bit. So yeah, this is it's really nice to create your own groove with live recorded sounds that you recorded yourself, you know, so you didn't um, have to buy them. You can just record them yourself, put them into your DAW, your own sample pack, and then drag them over and see what you like and create your own percussion groove and play around with it, the velocity and play around with the, the transpose because you can, of course, You can do all kinds of crazy stuff with it and yeah, you can get really creative with it. So it's, um, I think it's really nice to do, um, experiment with it. All right, I hope uh, you get something out of this and uh, see you next time. Good luck.